Greetings, ladies and germs of planet Earth and beyond. King Zero Phoenix here, and yep, that's right, it's me. I'm back. After four months, I decided to do another Arc of It Survival Evolved video. Why this one? Well, honestly, out of all the games I play, <laughs> ranging from Cuphead, and Cuphead, Octodad, Attack on Titan, even Aliens vs. Predator, this is by far my favorite out of everything. I, mean, I don't care what game I'm playing, I always end up coming back to this one. How can I not? It involves dragons, wyverns, dinos dinosaurs, prehistoric beasts, everything I enjoy out of life. And the re another reason I picked this game specifically, if you can tell by the by the date there, it's been just about a year from my, my avatar has been in this game. And as you can see, I've been quite busy. I had a little side project on the side during my solo place of greenhouses. I even once attempted a 10-story greenhouse, that way it'd have one of every crop. Unfortunately, I realized that anything higher than three levels causes the greenhouse effect to become dissipated. So, I opted to make 10 of them instead. Thanks to Structures Plus, I had to modify the settings a little, so now I can build off of cliffs, because unfortunately, they can only be a certain distance from the foundations before they, uh, stop completely. Anyways... Yep. That's my main vi Viper Tooth Wyvern Bacchus. If you can't tell, you can't tell because of the night vision, but I've got them all painted. Certain ways, males are black and red, females are red and black. Same as my tr my colors. I've added a whole bunch of new mods and auto feeding trough, a baby feeding trough. Off this little paint station, which I had to modify for free paint mode, because gathering the amount of dye required to paint was just a nightmare. I got kit. There's a flyer, and also I got these little numbers. If you can't tell, these are phoenixes from the Royal Fe Phoenix mod. I, fortunately, they're not normally found here on the center, so I was forced to spawn them in. Call me what you will, but this is my game. I make the rule. Also, if you also can't tell, I also finally got around to painting my house. I got virtually everything I can think of. Except all the creatures, of course. On that note... Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. These are Eurypteids, aka the Sea Scorpions. Normally untamable, but thanks to the No Untamables mod, I now own them. Let's see. Let's, uh, da -da 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 -da. There's one more individual that should be in here, but I don't see him. Or it. Should, uh, there you are. Yes, I can even tame these guys. I got Diplodocus breeding so I can get the raw prime meat. Simple human, and yes, your eyes do not deceive you, she's wearing a crown. Basically, my in-game wife. Call me what you will for you doing that, but honestly, this is about the closest thing to hum actual female interaction I'm ever going to get. Because put it simple, I'm not, not a big fan of being around other people for too long. And aside from... The Bronos and the Therizinos I got in, not that long, just yesterday, actually. You see, your eyes do not deceive you. These are from the Ark Collections mod, Brachiosaurus. And look how much larger these suckers are compared to this, uh, the Bronto. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, what I'm doing at the moment is currently gathering all my creatures back together, and I'm going to take them all down to the beach where my water creatures are living. And I'll honestly have been thinking of moving my base down to the waterfront. Well, because it gives me access to the sea, and it's just nice to have all the creatures in one place. My Calicotheriums. <laughs> the only reason I chose this spot because of Neebs Gaming. A fun bunch, honey bunch, and when they... And they played in the center, they, they used this spot for their base. And... Honestly, I do see why it has a lot of advantages. Unfortunately, the, the one drawback is the limited amount of space. Okay, what I'm doing, I've gathered them up, and for the next two days, I'm just gonna relax. At least my avatar will, at least. And it's not just these guys. I can't. There's also my other wyverns. These are forest wyverns. Those two, Fern and Fiona, are my forest wyverns. It's like, sorry, my controller seems to be acting up a little. I think it's the wire. 
Two wyverns that also came alongside the Phoenix. Royal Phoenix mod. And these are my fireball wyverns. Wendy and Mest. If you're an anime fan, you should know where these names come from. As well as Kana and Bacchus. Kind of self-explanatory, really. Honestly, I personally... One of the viewers I have... There's a certain policy on cheating. And not for cheats or mods to play the game as is. The problem is the ARC games as they are are limited. There's only so much they can actually give you. Here's the tricky part. How exactly am I... Not all of them are going to be able to fit through here, so, uh... Well, there is a small amount of space. Eh, I'll figure it out. Seems to be my catchphrase at the moment. But uh, yeah, basically, I've got been busy taming up every almost everything I can, can make a new... Uh, and dung beetles. Of course, if you're an arc player, you know dung beetles are a necessity. Perhaps if you can get... Of course, my collect... Actually, no. I shouldn't say collection, because that makes me sound like these are nothing more than creatures from... You know, things to collect. Like Pokemon. But I've got a vast majority of them, and I've been recently getting them thanks to the new Kibble rework. I don't think I have it anymore on me, but... I've been using a new stacks mod, which gives me bulk, everything in bulk. Alright, first things first, I gotta get them all out of their pens. I'm not worried about the flyers because they can just, well, fly. The one thing I am worried about are these guys, the livestock. And yes, I have Diplodocus under livestock and what? do you want to hold my weight? Apparently not. I guess your eyes do not just if you- Oh, come on, you two! Eesh, I'm heavier than I thought I was. Oh, well, what? It is what it is. I just hope I can get them all out of there without any of them falling over. Because and my home happens to be right, right above the swamp. I will agree the swamp is dangerous. And they broke. No matter, at least now you can actually see everything in color now. How on earth? Come on, Destiny. Good lord, I do believe she's stuck. Solution. I don't like having to use it, but your eyes do not deceive you. That's a cryopod. Normally, you can only get these in the extinction DLC, but I decided to spawn one in for here because, let's be honest, considering the creatures around here, I I need it. Hmm. Interesting. 
I was not aware that yeah, it actually erased, erased their color. I might not have a spare paint station at the beach where I've got my other creature, so i got nothing to worry about. Of course, in terms of convenience, it's not just... You see the dung beetles? Flip, chip, skip, flip, dip, yep, and a beetle. Honestly, I got the names from an old, old Cartoon Network show over my youth camp, Lazlo, if anyone even remembers that. I thought cartoons or was an anime are a major inspiration for all the names I give my creatures. Uh, let's see, uh... Alright, everyone's out of the pen. Next security. All oh, right. Duh. What's my name again? I forgot. Dimitri and Dimetra. You'll notice. Her name is Diana the Second. I had had a Di one Diana. Unfortunately, there was one thing about the phoenixes and the fire wyverns I didn't count on. They have friendly fire. They're capable of friendly fire. Alright. Is that everyone? Everyone's out of the pens. Game lag. I got everything from Rexes, Tech Rexes, Allosaurus, Argentavis, Utamaranus, Raptors, Deinonychus, and the Tech variants. I basically have almost everything the game can offer. In fact, I even have, have some new creatures. I think. I don't think I showed it to you just yet, but actually I got some time. I do not want to take too long because the sun's coming up. Moving all these monster, moving all these beasts is gonna be a pain in a butt. All right, yeah, you, know, you can see my house. Black with red, my signature colors. The upgrade station, which basically I used to finally give upgrades to all my stuff, like changing everything from primitive to journeyman. And eventually to Ascendant. Uh, uh, excuse me. How long is it? Anyhow, there's something else I wanted to mention. Don't get too excited about the up my upload regularity. I'll try to do it on the weekends if I can, or if I feel like it is a better word for it. Because everything I do, I do on a whim. Literally everything I do. Uh, oh god lord, I'm losing my train of thought. So much to do and everything's just... Okay, stop clowning around. Uh. Yes, that's Elsa, and I changed her, her last name from whatever it was. That's the Phoenix, because, well, my name is King Zero Phoenix. Thing is about her, I actually had to spawn her in, because since most of the time the simple humans in the mods are often wearing clothes or helmets, it's kind of impossible to tell what their hairstyles are, and as for me, her, her preferred hairstyle is the ponytail. And it took me quite a mul multitude of tries before I was finally able to fly find the right girl. Anyhow, fuck us. Alright, everyone.
Some of gonna. Weird glitch. <laughs> Is this Marcus? I can't tell. The only bad thing about having them all follow you. Yep, you're Marcus. Honestly, none of you are going to be fit into the gate, so I'll just take you guys off the edge. And then most of you are going to fall off anyways. Just help. I'm pretty sure you all can survive the falls. You usually end up surviving them when I'm not on, on you. I just hope this doesn't cause us those two. Gia and Gerard, my gigas, going berserk. You know as well as I do, is they go berserk. You're, you're royally screwed. I admit, at first glance, this does seem a tad cruel. The mere fact that I'm forcing them all to jump. But hey, when you got on a on a family this large. the rest of you doing? Another draw. I to being a solo player, especially with this many creatures, I'm the only one who is, who is able to keep track of them all. I don't see a dead screen and there's no sign that the gigas are going berserk. That's a good thing. I'm not worried about them being in a swamp. Given they all have each other's backs, the predators can take out any annoyances, so this, they don't have to worry about this. For example, piranhas. I 
admit it's situations like this that make me wish I had had others to join me. That way I could actually wrangle these guys up in a proper fashion instead of just mass hurting them like this. And again, when you're a solo player by choice, mind you, your options are kind of limited. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have saved the flyers for last. Actually, that gives me a great idea. That takes care of the vast majority of the flyers. I'll come back for you guys soon enough. Hey, if you ask me, seeing them all like that is a thing of beauty. Getting all these guys was not easy. In fact, luckily for me, Bacchus happens to be a Viper Tooth Wyvern. And in case you are aware, that's the Ancient Dragons and Wyverns mod equivalent of the Poison Wyvern you can usually get on Scorched Earth. And someone got leeched. Spectacular. No matter, I can just de-leech them once we get there. That's right, Ben. Trample all that vegetation. Now, if only I could make it at Elsa and all that. Honestly, in my head, this was a little more, shall we say, for lack of a better word, elegant. But then again, that's what I get for getting my hopes up. I mean, I've played this game for a long time now, and as a solo player, I normally don't join others. It's mods, because then I'd have to play by their rules and I'd lose all the stuff I have here. I've tried opening my, my doors to others. Problem is, no one knows I exist and or no one's going to join. And none of the friends I do have out in the real world, which are very few, by the way, actually even have this game, which, if you ask me, is a travesty. Actually, I do remember an old method of mine that I tried once in a much older playthrough back when I was still habitually on the island. Stupid controller. A lot more open spaces here. As the creatures from different walks of life all be coming together like this. <clears throat> I'm 
Remember, stay airborne, otherwise they're gonna crack. I'm gonna pin you down. I'm surprised that fall did a lot less damage than I thought it would to these guys. Only for a Giga, if it takes a fall like that, it would go berserk and kill everything. But either way, they're both fine. That's right, everyone trampled that vegetation. Seems a few of them. I just can't wait until I finally get maxed out. As I said, thanks to the additions mod, I also got the Domination Rex, the mod's version. Have Indominus Rex and Snap because of, due to copyright reasons they had to change it. Oop. Dire wolves. They're stuck in there. Another reason I'm bringing them all with me, including the livestock and the pets, honestly, even with the defenses I built, I honestly trust the environment, so it's a safety precaution. I have another method I'm gonna try out. Sit down properly and we get there. A while ago, when I used to have the idea of carrying all my creatures around with me, I would take the hand the creature they were all, all told ordered to follow and bring to the destination, then go back to get the others to make sure they could all get there as well. Seems that's what I'm gonna have to do here. Yes, see the. Where'd the leech go? Oh, there it is. I'll de leech you as soon as we get the others. Question is who is leeched? There's Ulysses. Seriously, guys?
this out of the way. One quick swim. And there they are, my water creatures. Archelon, Spinosaurus, Diplocalus, Dinosuchus, Beelzebufo, Sarcosuchus. Underneath the water. I got Xyphactinus, Anglerfish, Ammonites, thanks to the Untamables mod, Nidarius, the Jellyfish, Mantas, you name it. Yes, unfortunately, still no Megalodons. I honestly don't know well, the real reason why I'm not trying to tame them yet. Thank you, Bacchus. These are the guys who initially made it. You guys wait there. I can't even begin to imagine how many of you actually got leeched. There's only one creature I need to get the others. Where are you? And no, not the precaution. Ah! Yes, George, you'll do just fine. <laughs> Gotta go back for the others. Thankfully, no death screens have popped up, so I'm assuming... Beatrice, my dire bear. Oh, grief. Sarah got stuck in her charging stance. And there's more. There goes Bosco, Chase, Ants, Rosie, Alex, Otto, Penelope. Yep, Gloria and Mumble, you were saw right. Eryptids. They're actually quite. Maybe a bit duh. Agile. What's going on with these guys? 
That's a lot of. Not supposed to be falling, but I guess it looks like they got stuck. Are still stuck here. I know you're colossal, but Jesus. Looks I'm gonna have to go back for buckets to get them all moving again. I had always avoided going after the Gallimimus. Honestly, I'd always thought that thing was useless. Actually, I think the real reason I never tried to go after them is because of the old, old kibble system. I'm pretty sure a certain species egg was just acquired for the to, to make the kibble, oh, to tame these guys. I just can never get around. I'll do it. <laughs> Titanoboas. And penguins are quite lightning quick in water. Hey, one of them dropped an egg. Nice, you stupid megalodon. And to go back for the others. Don't worry, with their amount of health, the leech won't be able to won't last too long. Quetzal! I'm starting to spawn now. Actually, I had to fiddle with the configuration settings to get them to move. Here's someone I should be looking out for, my snails. Mm, they're all the way back there, I'm not surprised. They're snails, they're not designed to move fast. There's a lot of you got left behind. You'd think a Hesperonis would be quicker in the water.
This good thing I decided to move them all today. I might end up actually end up taking an entire week off. I'm sorry, nothing. All right, those of you watching, this is not really interesting. But hey. Someone else is leeched. And there's actually another reason I plan on take, taking a couple of days off in game at least. I gotta finish taming the rest of them. The regular stegos. Find a mate for my tech. That's all Kilby. Get Caprasuchus, a mate, mate for my Dinosuchus. There's so much to do and not a lot of time to do it, especially considering I haven't even once tackled the caves or even tried to do the obelisk. Like, I just realized, in the entirety that I've played this game, not once have I ever actually attempted to do the obelisks. I could, because, because I simply do not care, or because I'm always just trying to build my home. And now I'm st stuck in a brachiosaur neck. If you'll notice her, the female, Baleen, like, if you can actually tell which movie I got her name from, I think it's a good sign of just how old I am. Which amazes me, I'm only in my mid-twenties, I'm not supposed to feel this old yet. <sighs> Apologies, I don't have much in the way of commentary. Then again, I've never been much of a chatterbox in the past. But usually because... Whenever I have something to say, I usually end up saying it beforehand by the time I actually do get to the recording, and I completely forget and just improvise. The of my life, I just forget what's important, and just go with the flow. Thankfully, it looks like none of these leeches are diseased. Still, even regardless of how much or how little health they actually do have, they can't keep keep those things on for too long. I'll find out which of them. I'm just got the leech and just go from there. Wendy, why don't you die? Oh, uh, wait, I think I know why she was in the water. She probably drowned. <sighs> Great. Now I gotta hijack another fireball wyvern egg. Thankfully, there allowed them to spawn back in and in multitudes, so that's. there's that. I get them all safely, and I end up losing one of my wyverns. I should, nothing should have 
I didn't say hey, I was, was killed just that it was killed. Honestly, I'm... Here's an idea. For now on, I'm actually gonna try... I'm not gonna... I have no intention of opening up a server for ARK, because honestly, I have no idea how to do any of that stuff, and I don't, do not have the patience to do so. So, until... Oh, I'm just gonna open my, my own world up. Up to others if they can join. If you want to join, good for you. If not, then, well, that's your choice. We all make choices in life. I honestly don't know if you can tell, but the screen started to shift. It's my monitor, my computer. It's designed I need to go into a sort of night mode. Make sure to limit the, my exposure to blue light. Bad for the eyes. Thank you, Surge. Oh, man, the brachiosaurs are keeping up well. I just help. Some of my old friends be among those who had this game. Honestly, if they did, I want them to work on and rule over me. Well, I rule over them, actually. Just a bunch of Meganoras. It's supposed to be just Endeavor and I get to showcase all the creatures I've tamed, and yet now I'm missing one. I'll come back for the others. I apologize. Yeah, I'm done apologizing. To those of you who've watched my videos before, I thank you for that. And while you continue to do so, I'm really amazed because my style of editing and the content I upload is not exactly the best. Well, still, I thank you anyways. What are you doing? I wonder something. Yep, she stayed in the water too long. Are you not attacking? You know, when you see piranhas, you're something. You know, if something is biting you, you're supposed to attack.
Hey, dum-dums, get out of the water! It's just one thing, one thing with these clowns to another. Alright. Well, you got to see what... Good lord. Honestly, I'm just gonna edit most of it out. Sorry this didn't turn out to be as grand as I'd hoped it'd be. And again, like I said, I'm a solo player, so what can you do? I'm... You, you work with what you got. And you know what? I'm a little reluctant to do this given my speed on the matter. But look at this. It's ridiculous. My home is an impossible place. You know what? I'm just gonna have to do it all over again. Hit the restart. Instead of traveling all the way over there like I normally would, this is gonna be my home. Yep, this island right here. I've always been a fan of the islands. And now that I have better mechanics, I'm getting the mechanics of everything. Things are gonna start going my way from now on, here on out. Well, it was nice knowing you all. And you all get one last look at me, or at least you could, at the stupid... Okay, Leech is gone. <laughs> like looking in a mirror, ain't it? Only he's way more clearly way more handsome than I am. Anyhow, thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure. Well, if you could even call it that. Even it was nothing but me showing off all the beasts I tamed and getting one of them killed. Yep, I decided I'm back in the game. In the YouTube game, that is. I'll try to upload on weekends as much as I can. And, but it is what it is. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. Hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed yourselves. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in, in more. If you're already subscribed, be sure to ring the bell to stay up to date and share any opinions you may have with me down in the comments below. Don't mind the glasses going up, just so you won't have to be staring at the ref at the action of my computer screen and my glasses. And until next time, this is King Zero Phoenix signing off. Later's. <laughs>